Hey guys, it's Nina and today I have a tutorial many of you guys might have already seen. I saw it first on the Samrosaurus's page. You know, I love a good marble and I absolutely fell in love with Sammy's incredible technique. You can obviously use any colors you'd like. I opted for a rosy neutral base with white and navy blue accents. As always, start with clean nails and a good base coat. Once your base is dry, paint one thin layer of the lighter neutral shade. Today I'm using Diana Boss from Pear Nova, which is a part of their Brown Girl Magic collection. This is an incredible line that offers a great range of neutrals for all skin tones. And this is really the fun part. So you take a palette, today I'm using the back of a dime label, and blot out some of the same neutral shade as the base. Then dollop in your other polishes. Then take a toothpick or a thin brush and drag it through the blob once, just once, otherwise the colors will blend too much. Now grab your handy dandy clear stamper and pick up the polish by pressing into the polishes. This will cause the colors to bleed and blend, creating an organic marble-like pattern. Now you strategically press the stamper down so you get the composition you want on the nail. Press down firmly and with confidence, and then lift up your stamper. Ta-da! Pick up the remaining polish from the stamper using scotch tape. This will help preserve your stamper and make cleanup pretty easy. Now use an angled brush dipped in acetone and clean up around the nail. You can always use a latex barrier before you start stamping, but mine dried out. So if you have any recommendations on a good latex barrier, let me know. So I'm actually gonna show you the next two nails so you can get a feel for the different patterns. I love this design because no two nails are ever the same, so it keeps things interesting. So kick back and enjoy the music. Finally, we've arrived at my favorite part, where you top with top coat and enjoy your nail art. I hope you guys like this video. Please make sure to like and subscribe and let me know what you'd like to see next in the comments below.